Hello, and welcome to St. Peter Claver Catholic School. I'm Suzanne Greenwood, principal, and glad to learn of your interest in our wonderful school. A warm, family-oriented small school dedicated to educating our beloved students in 21st century best practices, complemented by a religion curriculum rooted in gospel teachings. Please enjoy the following tour of our vibrant hallways and inviting and engaging classrooms where you will meet and hear from a few of our excellent and certified teachers. While I know that you will be impressed with what you see and hear, there is so much more to know about our special school. And it would be my pleasure to meet with you and your family in person and take you on a personal tour and share the many benefits of a faith-based education at St. Peter Claver Regional Catholic School. I believe that you will learn from this tour what I know to be true from my own experience as a Catholic school student and my years at St. Peter Claver, that Catholic schools are still one of the most powerful institutions for human formation and societal transformation. I echo the words of our superintendent when I share that there are many alternatives to Catholic education, but there are no substitutes. So right now in pre-K, we are learning all of our pre-writing skills. So we're learning our alphabet, we're really building our handwork, so we're working on Play-Doh. And our letter right now is H, so they're really excited. And in math, we're working on our different shapes, so circle, square, triangle and they love talking about the shapes. And in kindergarten, we're also doing letter H, but we're working on our retelling skills. So we're practicing telling a story back and kind of going over how we talk about stories. And in math, we're doing positions. So we're learning about inside, outside, above, down, below. Hi, I'm Miss Moyers. I teach first and second grade. Right now in second grade, we are doing a math unit on place value up to the hundreds place. So we're doing a lot of hands-on activities, building our numbers using base 10 blocks, and breaking down numbers looking at how many tens, how many ones, how many hundreds are in a given number. Hi, my name is Matthew Davis. I'm the third and fourth grade teacher at St. Peter Claver Regional Catholic School. Right now we're doing our reading centers, and we talk together as a group. We read a book about cause and effect, and so now the students are practicing the skill on their own, they finish the skill, the practice on their own, they get to go on their Chromebooks and do differentiated reading passages and questions. And I'm leading small groups of students to help them practice the skill with another passage. And so we read the passage together and I guide them through the questions to help them be able to do it independently. And the groups are differentiated so the higher readers can go into more in-depth concepts. The readers need more assistance, I can help them with guiding them through the reading of the passage, understanding difficult words and what's being asked of them. And so this way, everyone gets the whole lesson together and then afterwards, um, they get the chance to practice at their own level. I'm Brianna Johnson Anderson, a fifth and sixth grade teacher here at St. Peter Claver. Today in our math classes, we're learning about least common multiples and common denominators in our sixth grade class and in our fifth grade class, we're looking at variables and adding different numbers together. They can use these skills in middle school in order for them to know many different skills for the SSAT and getting prepped and ready for high school. My name is Deborah Hood. I am the administrative assistant, the director of the after school program, and the art teacher. I've been the art teacher for three years, and I find it very fascinating to be able to work with the kids creatively. Currently, we are working on something called Pop Art, and we've also spent some time working on Hispanic Heritage Month, and with that, we focused on artists like Pablo Picasso and um, Frida Kahlo. I will say that our students here at St. Peter Claver are very talented, so I'm just cultivating. We've been very successful. If you were able to see, see some of the art that we have around the school, you can see that our students here stand really strong among other art students at other schools, and I'm very proud to have been able to motivate them and inspire them that way. My name is Chris Lumbo. I uh, am a middle school teacher here at St. Peter Claver, teaching middle school science, math, and religion uh, to both 7th and 8th grade. 
currently in both math classes we're doing basic algebra in seventh grade we're doing integers and building the skills on being able to add and subtract numbers both negatives and positives and in eighth grade we're doing a lot of pre-algebra so working with algebraic equations and working to build those skills to eventually you know get them to the high school level especially for eighth grade in science classes we're seventh grade science we're doing a lot of biology a lot of ecosystems right now the students are taking a test on the ecosystem cycles. In eighth grade, we're doing a lot of physics. So the eighth grade course and curriculum is on physical sciences, so it's a lot of physics and chemistry. And again, both classes, seventh grade, we're really just preparing them to be able to move on to, to the eighth grade curriculum, both for math and science. And then for eighth grade, obviously the, the main goal for them is to be able to build those skills in pre-algebra and for science, be able to be ready and, and take on high school, get them to high school and get them to uh, a really good high school in, in Atlanta and continue them on the Catholic school path. We want obviously to not just to continue their learning but continue their, their Catholic education. Thank you for visiting. We hope to see you soon in person. God bless you.